Hey guys, it's Sharon back with Little Britain Company. And I know this is weird. You don't get to see my face. Uh, but today is the second half of that um, holiday Timu haul. And I, uh, this is just crafts. Today it is just crafts. And so I am super excited to show you some of what we got, uh, some of what I got, and then um, let you see how the crafty goodness, there's a lot, there's so much. Um, I'm starting off with this wonderful Barbie silhouette because um, I am using that when I had to open her, I know, I'm sorry, um, to make this really cool folio. Uh, and there is a video coming out about the Barbie vo Barbie folio. So um, hopefully you'll, you'll want to stick around and see what kind of Barbie folio we got going here. So let me go ahead and get started. I am going to show you the, um, we're going to start with die cuts. I think we're going to start with die cuts because there's a lot of die cut. Now, you know what? I'll start with some things that aren't die cuts other than Barbie. Put her to the side. She is in use. I did get another wax stamp. Um, Little Brit and I spent a day recently, real, not a day, we spent an afternoon just really playing with the wax stamps. And it was super fun. So I decided we needed, you know, possibly a few more. Um, and I picked up this fun guy. Let me zoom in on him. Look at that cute little Santa face. He's so stinking cute. Um, anyway, love him. And I will say... This is super smooth. I've got, we've gotten one wooden one in the past before and it was not. This one's very well done. Really liking this one. All right, so we got the Santa and put him back. Little Bert will be excited to try a new one. Um, I did pick up this pack of, um, it's like buffer type things for using with your um, uh, ink, stamp ink. Um, so I, I have... <laughs> This one was so much cheaper than the ones I've seen in Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any of the other stores. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those and I'm going to, I think I'm going to buy more pads for it. I also, move you back a little bit. I also picked up this. Now you've seen, a re, not even that long ago, I picked up some tweezers and then I realized I really wanted this type of tweezer. That I really needed this kind. And I'll show you. Um, this is a tweezer that kind of does a self hold. So when I press it and when I let go of it, it's going to hold in place. I don't have to keep my grip on it for it to continue to hold something. So, you know, I don't remember what's called. You guys, do you all want to tell me what this was called? Cause I know you'll know. Cause you guys are very, very smart. <laughs> And incredibly helpful. So I was. This was very exciting for some of the stuff I'm doing with stamp with um, cards and things right now. And just sometimes you just need something to hold a thing in place, and you're not having to exert a whole lot of pressure or think about it. This was for my junk journals. I am so excited about this. I should have bought this a long time ago. Hey, let me get this out of its bag and show you what it is. You're like, what the heck is that? What? It's a staple remover. And here's why I wanted one just like this, because I have other staple removers. This is for when I remove staples from my uh, little golden books, because the books are held together with these very heavy duty staples and trying to get something under there um, is difficult. And you know the staple ones that kind of pinch, they're sharp, well, they're, they tear up books. This will slide under. That's the goal. It'll slide under those staples and I will be able to move them out of the way without damaging the book or the papers. So super excited about that one. Um, okay, then I also found this pack. This is really nice. And I hope it fits my Fiskars. My, my hope was that these would fit in my Fiskars. I don't know. They were not terribly expensive. There are five and they're in their own little individual boxes. And the, and, uh, and the reality was I didn't know whether they would fit my Fiskars. Looking at them now, uh, I don't know. That's I just don't know if they're, they're going to fit. Even if they don't, I thought I'm not totally out because I know I'll use these boxes for my other um, cutters, my other blades for my cutters. 
I'll let you know what they fit and what they don't fit. There's a side. And then this was really exciting. So they call it origami. And it came kind of messed up. It was all over the place, but it did go back together into its container pretty easily. Let me get it out of there. Look at all those colors. Oh, wow. Okay. So let me flip you through the colors that we've got going on here. You gotta actually move it in. So you've got a lot of really nice pinks and purples, green, look at that green, different greens. We got silver, gold. I think that's two different kinds of gold, another a different kind of silver. That one's bluish. Okay, and then over here we've got more of the pink and red. Um, oh, so I will tell you the reason I wanted these was for um, my card making. I thought these could be a really great addition to cards. I don't think they're stickers. I'm trying to see if this comes off and it, it really isn't. So they're not stickers, but that's okay. I mean, I think that these are intended for quilling, but they're just such a good size. They're like a quarter of an inch. Mm. They're more like three eighths of an inch. So they're about three eighths of an inch. And then they are um, by, uh, doo -doo -doo, nine and a half inches. So they're about nine and a half inches long, which is great because using these on the bottom of a card is just gonna be perfect. Um, so anyway, those were really cool. Super excited about those. I'm super excited about all of it. All right, now um, I'll leave the charms to the end. I always leave the charms to the end. I'm gonna start showing you some of the really cool um, die cuts that I have. Um, I have had several requests to, um, to actually run the die cuts so you all can see what they look like. Uh, and that is coming, so many videos coming. Um, some are already in the making. When you see this one, there are also there are several that are already out. And let me pull this back a wee bit so you can see the whole thing. Isn't that fun? So this is, you can put the boo inside the outline. You've got a little um, spider and bat down there. I just thought those were really nice. I Let's see if I can do this. So we're looking at, that was Christmas and Halloween. I don't know if I can show you all but it, this in order. Um... I can, I can kind of try. So we've got a lot of Christmas, but there's also some really fun Halloween in here. Um, ay, ay, ay. All right, so the next one is, oh, well, that's, that's not bad. That's not too reflective. So this, one, I, this one really caught my attention. Because of the size, it's going to work really well on a card. Um, so it's about three and three fourths. I think it's by four. So it can be centered on a card with some background or up higher on a card with a sentiment here. I thought that one was really fun. Let me get to, oh my golly, look at this guy. Isn't he, so, the pale, the pale got to me. He's just, you know, can't say no to that. Can't. I can't. It's a not physically possible. Y'all agree? I mean, you really, there's no physical way anyone can say no to that. <laughs> All right. So then we have, I'm going to take these out so I can show you because they got moved around a little bit. That's only if I can find an opening. Here we go. I want you to see these. Oh, they're so cool. Um, I am seeing more and more of their, I talked about this in a previous um, haul video about these sizes of connections. Um, and I'm seeing more and more that have the bigger ones because the small ones are truly problematic. Um, this is just so cute. 
So really what you have is the big version and the little version of the exact same one, but it just depends on which one you need it for. And you've got a slightly bigger pumpkin pails, slightly smaller pumpkin pails. This is so cute. Um, I just really love that. I had some ideas about that one right away. And um, I can't wait to do them. All right, let's see. Sorry. One moment, please. You guys are very patient with me. You really are, and I appreciate it. This way. Look at that one. Oh, this one might need to come out of. Let me get this one out of here. Sometimes it's okay, and sometimes it's just too reflective. Isn't that fun? I just cannot wait to use that on a um, on a card. I thought that was just going to be perfect. Really, really perfect. And then this one. Wait, it's not open. Is it open or not? Yes. Get this out of here. So I told you I like sort of that vintage look at how cute these die cuts are. I definitely want to test this one for you all and for me. They are so stinking cute. I can't even. I can't even deal with how cute they are. All right, let's move these out of the way. Then, so this one has, this is, let me see if I can figure out how to get into it. Oh, sorry, but I'm not going to the camera there. All right, here we go. Look at how cool, it's bees. Halloween dressed up bees. Come fly with me. And look, you've got a whole bee scenery down here. That is the cutest thing. And then these, these are the die cuts for it. So they'll cut them out. I just thought that was absolutely fabulous. Again, I told you, some things you just can't say no to. <laughs> some things are just meant to be. All right, so this is, this is the one that goes together. And I'm going to make sure, um, I always try to do something like this so I can put them together. And then the next one also has the stamps and the die cuts that go with it. So those are the die cuts. Let me get the stamps out to show you. I tried to do a little quick sort so we could do, you know, holidays in order. Too cute to spook. Spooky wishes for a happy Halloween trick-or-treat booze. Happy Spooktober. Look at these cute little guys. These are just adorable little ghosts. I love the little happy Halloween. I love the little ghost. And of course, this goes right with it. And I've already gone through and kind of, because I, I had to open them early, and kind of tested them to make sure they were going to work. Remember, there was one that I found where the die cut did not work, um, which was unfortunate. Or at least one of the die cuts in there did not work with the, with the pack. It's getting better, but... All right, let's see if we have any more Halloween in here. That one's Halloween. Um, okay. And then this one, which is just a general stamp. And you can take this stamp and you can put it across a card so that you can actually make a bigger stamp from it. You have to be sort of cautious as you're doing that, but... Um, I haven't tried it yet, or at least, that, at least that's my plan. My plan is to, you know, do, 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 and do a whole card out of it. Um, okay, and then um, let us let me show you a few things that actually aren't holiday in between, because our next one would be Thanksgiving. Oh, my word. All right, you know me and bees, and I love it. Always be yourself. Happy B day. Just because buzzing in to say hello. These are just so stinking cute. Our friendship was meant to be. I believe that. Look how cute those are. So we got the bees. I also found these numbers, which I really, really like. 
I have a few plans for numbers. Um, I do want to do some things with Advent. I thought those would be cute. So the fruit I had already purchased. I just brought it out and put it with this one because I think you've seen my fruit, the fruit before. <clears throat> but the die cut came in. So this one goes with it. So <clears throat> if you watch it, if you wanted to get one so that you could have the die cut or the stamp, you, I, I do risk it and I go ahead and get those. Um, I did pick up this, uh, this circle one because I look at all the different types of designs you get here. You get the stitch, um, with sort of the, um, let's see, that one's just the stitch. This one has the, I can't think, roughly, and then stitch and then straight and then, um, roughly and then stitch and then, and so on. And then you have these buttons. This is just really fun. And I love to have lots and lots of different circle cuts just because I never quite know which one I may need. This one is super fun. And I'll tell you, I'm going to use this independently, but this piece works with it. So you can make a little um, design that opens and closes. It actually makes that kind of twisty design open and close. I wanna test that a little bit. I guess I'll call it lacy. So I got a couple of these in different sizes, different different kind of lacy designs, roughly designs around there, uh, just because I really wanted to test some of them and see which ones. And there are, I don't know, I guess there are nuances that I do like. Um, this one is really nice. Okay, one of the nice things about this is that for some of these, you could do a continuation across. So I'm gonna cut out some, cut out more than one piece, and then I can do a continuation across of these different designs. I think these are really super fun. And this one, and this one, I think, maybe not. Some of them I'm thinking you can, they'll, they'll be very almost continuous as you go down. I'll test it a little bit. All right, this is again, sort of the same thing where it turns into like a turning, wheel but it already gives you like the card size this is one, two, three and a half by five is that right three and a half yeah no three and three and three fourths um so this one is is basically the card and then you've got your slot and your turning wheel and then as you turn this it's going to turn into a different design but i will i know that's hard to you know for me, it's hard to wrap my mind around. Um, and again, another one that gives me kind of that lacy look around it. I like this kind of ruffle look around it. Um, so I've got my rectangles now. I don't think I found a square yet. I thought this would be bigger. That's just always what we say, right? I want to be wanted to be able to use this on cards. And I don't know if it will work the way I wanted it to. Um, I really did think that these were gonna be like this size, like an inch, but these inner ones are more like yeah, quarter inch, maybe a little bit more. Um, that's okay, I may use, I may cut several of these and kind of stack them and use them on some of my cards with some cute little things on the inside. I've got lots of tiny stickers. Um, shocking, I know. All right, so the next one, oh, so let me show you this, so cute. I know, y'all know when I say big, it's big. When I say huge, grab a drink. <laughs> okay, look at the pie. That just screams um, Thanksgiving to me. And I thought I, I need that. I need a Thanksgiving one, I really, really do. Uh, my die cut collection has gotten quite large, as I think you may have surmised at this point in time. <laughs> okay, so we did Thanksgiving, and now I think the, oh, I missed this Halloween one. So I'm pretty sure there's a sticker that goes with, uh, not a sticker, a stamp that goes with this one. But he's pretty cute. He definitely has a lot of pieces. I don't know. Is there a stamp that goes with this one? You know what? There may not be a stamp that goes with those. This one may be a standalone because there's his beard and the different mustache and pieces that fit into him. So just super cute. 
Look at those little pieces. You know, you really, I like this boo little pennant. Um, very cute. Now we'll go on to Christmas, I think. <laughs> All right, I thought this one was marvelous. In particular, this one has a lot of seasons on it. So you've got Valentine's Day and Easter, and you've got spring and um, beach weather, birthday, Halloween, fall, and then the two cr Christmas and winter. I guess you could you could say, but um, you could certainly put you know a few a couple of these together and make a really nice um, top border uh, dangling maybe in a window or something. I thought that one was really cute. Some of these I may, I don't know if it's easy to picture, but you'll see the picture if you look look for them on the, um, gotta get that out of there. If you look for them in the uh, description box. All right, this one, when she goes together, uh, so here's her skirt, there's the basically the body, her face, but then her hair, her arms and legs. She is a little um, Christmas girl and she is, Stinking cute. So, so, so cute. Cannot wait for you to see her. All right, next. This is so funny because I almost repurchased this one, but I haven't. I did. I caught myself and figured it out. This one is really, really cute. Um, and the design that they show with this one, I'm not sure to me matches up as well. But you can see you've got, you know, your cookies in your heart and your little ginger guy and your Santa within a Santa um, and then your candies. It's really cute. They're a little bit on the small side, but for cards, it's kind of perfect. Um, so I love him. But talking about candy. Oh, my goodness. So this one works for many holidays. But in particular, I'm going to do this one in reds and uh, reds and whites and maybe greens, um, pinks. I will also do this one in oranges and blacks because this is gonna be the perfect cute little Halloween candy too. Okay. So then I found this cute little car and he was like 99 cents. He's tiny, but he's perfect for a little road on a card. It's cute. This one, I have all sorts of ideas about what to put inside it, but this was just a really good size water globe. Um, so when the two pieces are together, let's see, one, two, three, it's gonna be maybe three and a half inches. This is internal. These two pieces are meant to be snow for your snowman to be sitting on. And this actually would work, you, this would work very easily into a shaker. Um, so I love him. So talking about Christmas girls, oh my goodness, these Christmas women, um, 50s, so stinking cute. Kind of creepy like this, but really cute when it's done. So here again, you, you've got, she's sitting and you can kind of see the holly in her dress and you have her face and you've got hair, you've got uh, legs and arms and then a few little Christmassy type things. I think this is like a rolling pin here. She's, oh, she's meant to be a skater, I think. I think she's meant to be an ice skater. Um, but she's just adorable when you put her together. And I will, I will get her together so that you can, we can all take a look at her together. Um, next, let me get to this one. I promise I'm trying to get into it. Okay, let's, <laughs> there it is. Here we go. Get this cute little gingerbread man. So you've got all sorts of things here. He can have a little whip topping. He can be a she. He can um, have um, hats and this cute little like icing topping and um, bows. It's just so stinking cute. Extra buttons <laughs> or eyes. Nope. I don't know which ones. Um, so this one just had a lot of possibilities, but that ginger stands alone. Can easily stand alone. 
I must have been hungry when I did this order because there's a lot of food elements in here. There are, oh my golly. Once again, let me, there, as soon as I show you all, I can find my way into it. Look how fun that one is. So I've seen several different cupcake type ones, but I really liked this one. I just like some of the different designs. You've got the little Santa here. Um, you've got some, some melty type pieces. Um, I just thought this one was cute and it's meant so that you can actually decorate this. And I thought that was awesome. Really awesome. Oh yeah, I was seriously hungry. Holy cow. All right, let's see. Let me... Okay, so the minute I show you all, I'm going to find the edge to it. That is hilarious. So again, more cute little candy, candy canes, and then all these different um, suckers. And um, these are meant to be candies or cookies, and you put these in the insides of them so that you get that kind of cool additional effect to them. I think that one's really cool. So this next one, oh, look, I can get right into it. Shocking. No, I can't. <laughs> No, I really can't. That's hilarious. It's stuck. It is. It's stuck. All right. Let me see. There. Aren't they cute? Your little mice holding the holding the ornament. Super cute. All right. And then this is really, it really is working that way. The minute I, I can't find the edge and then I put put it under the camera and suddenly I think I'm getting a lot less a whiplash from the camera today I have made so you know I keep making changes I'm going to keep doing it till I get it right um this is so cute so this is your stocking this is the top of the stocking this these are both parts this is the very toe this is the heel and then you've got a little Santa that can come out of the top of him making him a lot longer so super cute with that one then we have stamps. Let's take a look at these stamps. So I really wanted wanted more um, Christmassy sentiments, and I thought these were adorable. The Merry Christmas, Sweet Christmas. This is going to give me like a um, much deeper stamp. Um, look at that one. We wish you a very Merry Christmas. These really are very retro, and I'm sure they come directly from some advertisements and I'm okay with that that's really cool okay so this next one I think someone said this one looks like fawn lawn and I will say and again Kate and I were talking about this recently um so these are so cute so these are literally these aren't just like a, a rough copy when you're looking at but particularly the die cuts these are exact copies so they're coming from the exact same printer so to speak um, manufacturer they're coming from the same molds and if they're coming from the same molds i would have to assume that they're that the company whoever owns them let's say it was um oh, what's his name timothy roth russ roth roth can't remember um or let, let's just say it was doodlebug so if Doodlebug has items here on Timu, it's probably because they're allowing someone to use their older designs and manufacture them um, so that they're getting you know, part of the profit because they're using, they really are using the same mold. Um, I love this one. Happy Holidays, Merry Mail, Nice List, Slay Mail. This is so cute. Naughty and Nice, you did it. Or Nice, you did it. Jolly Mail, how cute. Elf Approved, thank you for shopping small. Handmade with love. So, so stinking cute. Love that one. This one I had to get. Little Brit has worn glasses. Oh my goodness. Probably since he was two. Um, because of his crossed eyes. And we thought, I mean, it's gotten considerably better. Um, they were hoping that we would be able to write it. But it looks like, you know, that's not the only issue. So, um, so I just thought it would be so fun for to have glasses. So this top one, it says the man, uh, the man, the myth, the legend. That's hard to see, but the man, the myth, the legend. Merry Christmas to you. Don't fear the beard. Um, ho, so you can do ho, ho, ho. You got the glasses for this Santa. 
I can count on you and thanks Santa. So I just thought that one was super cute and just, like I said, it kind of spoke to me. This one, I think there was a die cut for this one, but they didn't have it at the time. Let's see if I can, yep. Y'all are good luck. Every time I put this under the camera, I can find what I'm looking for. These are so stinking cute. So you've got ho, 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 tis the season. Look at that adorable penguin. And you've got the deer and the snowman and this big old Santa. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. The North Pole, I love this stamp. I think this is absolutely adorable. I hope I hope you were able to see things. I hadn't put a I didn't put any paper underneath them this time. So I hope it was working for you all. I can see it clearly from where I am, but it doesn't always equate the same. All right, this one. This is gorgeous and huge. So this particular sleigh, it's what is it, almost five inches? One, two, three, four. That's five inches. And then from the bottom, one, two, three, three and a half inches. So five by three and a half. That's a full card. So you've got ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Look at that cute little gingerbread guy. You've got this beautiful tree, silent night, a buck. Um, these mittens are just so amazing. Um, Noel, so, so fun. All right, so that is it for the stamps. Let me grab this guy and let's go ahead and take a look at all of the um well let's look at what's next Ooh, sorry which is actually stickers so this one i opened it because i couldn't remember what it was oh no no and i had not had these before not this one i don't think <laughs> if i did y'all know all right so looking at this one i'm going to zoom in on her I have found this wonderful Alice in Wonderland set, and it is beyond cute. I think she's supposed to be like this. I think she's doing that. These are just, well, look at the Cheshire Cat and that doorknob, the King, the Mad Hatter hats, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, the Rabbit, Mad Hatter, Cheshire. I can't even keep up with them all. Oh, Queen of Hearts, Evil Queen of Hearts. These are just, I just thought these were gorgeous. Um, I love the designs on them. Oh my goodness. Love him. So I had opened this, but I had looked at all of them. That's upside down. Oh, that's the poster, the movie poster. Oh, cute. Look at these. They really are gorgeous. The artwork is amazing. Oh my goodness, I love the rabbit. He's late. There she is. And the tea party. She seems to run a lot. So she's big or the door small? One or the other. So this Alice in Wonderland set was just marvelous. Absolutely gorgeous. Cannot wait to use it. I've got several Alice in Wonderland projects going right now. Shocker. I know. Who would have thought? All right. And now let me show you. Oh, my goodness. Let me show you the absolutely marvelous. Um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Charms. So charm number one, look at these witches' hats. I thought these were cute. I really like these. These are, of course, going to be turned into earrings. Um, so I thought the witches' hats were just kind of perfect. Um, and so this uh, that's the beginning of Halloween. But I do want to show you this one because, you know, Oktoberfest, right? So for Oktoberfest... There was a show that I was considering doing that actually was sort of a beer theme -y type thing. Um, and I thought those were super fun. <laughs> you know, and with a British husband, I don't know if, if you know uh, some of the British men, my husband in particular, I mean, the pub. The pub is a way of life. 
So these little guys, was that you weighing in on that, honey? Yeah, absolutely. Pub is a way of life. Um, so I think I, this is my second set of the ghosts. I was thinking that they might sell well. And then I, I am sure that I got these kittens before. I bought two this time because, again, I think that these kittens are actually adorable. They could be a little like black puppies. They're little black cats. They're so cute. They are so cute. So because there's two, four, six, there's only eight in each one, and I know I want a set. <laughs> so I bought two sets. I think those are gonna do well. Sometimes if I think it's gonna do really well, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up, a, you know, maybe a couple of them. This next one, it was much bigger. I don't know if these would work as earrings, but I can use them on other things. I think they're really fun. They really are quite big. Um, but maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe these are, um, I mean, by themselves, they're two and a half inches. But they're so fun. I think there might be some people who would like those. You guys weigh in on that for me. Do you think I should go ahead and turn those into earrings? Do you think anyone would be interested in those as earrings? There would only be three pairs of them. Um, I don't think there's anything for them to mix and match with on those. Um, so then, I really liked these. I thought these pumpkins were, you know, they're a little bit more on the reserved side. And I've got some other different pieces that would mix and match well with those because I am doing the mix and match if someone's interested in doing that. Um, so I thought the pumpkins were fun. Cute little guy he's got a really nice face and the the work on those is cute now the maybe a month or two a couple months ago i bought a pendant it came with a necklace and it was basically this and i bought two of them because i wanted to turn them into earrings which i have done only to find that they actually do sell these independently um, which in the long run is cheaper than buying them as necklaces. Uh, so these are really cute. And they're a little on the heavy side. I will tell you that. This this feels like, you know, it's a bit of a lump. But those are so stinking cute. Oh, I just dropped one. Okay. Go hunting now. Okay, and then... This is the spookiest I've gotten. I keep away from spooky. I, you know, Halloween, I think, is just fun. I don't, and, and lots of people want to be spooky, and that's fine. Um, so this guy is a little bit on the spooky side. So I have, you know, three pairs of him, or you can pair him with, like, a, a pumpkin head or something else. He's really fun. These are actually really well done. So early on with Timu, I was finding that some of the charms um, were not the best. They were not in the best condition. I had some yellow submarines that were really not in good shape. But they have, uh, the quality has absolutely improved. So look at this one. Isn't he wonderful? And you can see he's not huge. He's not huge. Maybe half an inch by an inch. You can see by my finger. Super cute. I love this one. I'm stealing a pair. I'm going to keep a pair of those. So that's the funniest thing. The fun thing here is that as I'm making earrings, the ones that I really love, which is most of them, um, <laughs> I'm keeping a pair for me. So, okay, now these, and I think these work for any time period. I think that, you know, the hearts don't have to be Valentine's Day. Although these, you know, I think these would be nice for Valentine's Day because you have so many different choices here. Two, I think it's 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 8. Yeah, you get 20 of these multicolor hearts. Um, I think you get four of each. And I just really love them. I love the pink in particular, but I like that green. And I think that there's just a lot to be said for having some different ones. So I was still thinking that they might be attractive to some people for Christmas. 
if not, if, if for nothing else, maybe just for a Christmas um, present to someone. And this is it. La oh, no, it's not. I lied. Because I showed those to you and I shouldn't have. I had some, something else sitting on the side there. I'll show you the last of the charms and I'll show you the last stuff. So this is the last of the charms. Aren't they wonderful? Oh my goodness. These went in and out of stock and then I finally grabbed them up. These little Santa guys are so stinking cute. Yes, I'll keep up here for me. Two, four, six, eight. So you get 10 so I can make five pairs of earrings from these. And I just think he's adorable. I think he's just stinking adorable. Really, really. All right, so that is it for the charms. Um, and I, I had moved things around. So what I didn't show you, which I'm going to show you now, I wanted to, I'm going to pull back on that. You can see a little bit more. I wanted to pick up some of these. I wanted to try my hand at doing some beaded pins just to go with my journals. Um, maybe some specialized pins to go with the journals. And they had a really good deal on these. I want to say that they were under $3 for this set. Um, so I thought that these were really fun. So you just, you add the beads in. Um, so this two, four, this five and this one. So I did that one, which is kind of uh, fades up to color. And then I did this one might've been $3 or $3.50 for them, which is a heck of a lot better than the prices I saw here. Um, crackle, crackle, crackle. So this one, you get a full silver and purple and the blue and I like that aqua and kind of a rose gold. So those were super fun. I'm looking forward to trying my hand at these. And this is for right now, this is, unless they sell really well, this, I'm only going to have these 10. Um, let me move those out of the way right there. And then to go on them, I found this set and I didn't buy, I have lots of other beads, but these said that they were intended for them. And I thought they were so fun. Aren't those the cutest little ghosts? So I thought I would go ahead and put together, you know, a couple of the pins with these ghosty guys. Because I think the ghosty guys are adorable. That's, I think, actually it. So um, thanks for hanging out with me today. And um, yeah, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And I'm super excited about, about these things and, um, and getting, uh, I forgot something. <laughs> Shocker. One moment, please. You get to see me after all. It was very big. It was a very big order. This one actually is not part of the craft items, but I forgot to show it earlier and I want to use it tomorrow. Yes, I broke down and got one of the Stanley Cups. And they had lots of colors. I don't know how I looked into it, but these were on sale for, it was like $5.50. And even on Timu, these don't usually sell for $5.50. But they went on sale for something like that. For that, I'm sure that was about the right, or $5.47. And I said, sold. And I went ahead, put it in my cart and bought it right away. And the next day I was like, you know what? I needed, I should have ordered more. And I went back to order more and it was already back up to, you know, $12 or something. Um, but I'm super excited. It comes with its own straw. And uh, this is the Stanley, the Stanley cup. I'm very excited. I'm using it tomorrow. I'm taking it with me to school. That's it. That's it. These two loads. Um crafts and a Stanley cup, but you know, I can just, uh, this, you know, every crafter should have a Stanley cup, right? You know, <laughs> that's all I got for y'all today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. If you like my content, I really hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, cause you know, and comment, let me know, let me know what your, what your favorite things were, what you liked. And, um, yeah, I appreciate each one of you. I really do. Y'all have a great evening. Cheers.